Well, Brent, city officials are telling people to stay away from this entire area. They say the building is not safe. Now, fire crews did pull six people from that rubble. Based on the latest reports, eight people treated for their injuries. Two of those people were in critical condition when they came out of that rubble. All of this happening during a wet concrete pour. This is a mass casualty incident. 36 workers on site of a 112 unit residential construction site on Lafayette Street when a concrete pour went terribly wrong Friday afternoon. They were pouring concrete. A portion of the second floor collapsed onto the first floor and then into the basement. A passerby called 911 at 1238, reporting a loud noise and partial building collapse at 188 Lafayette Street, where workers were pouring wet concrete on the second floor. We have workers up there who are spreading it as, it, as it's being uh, applied to that level. It appears from their statements that it began to pool in a certain area uh, faster than they could, and it it caused it to cave. New Haven Fire Department and medics with American Medical Response on scene in minutes. Six workers were pulled out of the building. Three were partially buried under the rubble and had to be lifted by fire companies after falling several levels into wet concrete. One of the problems that you have with wet concrete is having to do the searches before it hardens. The extreme care that it takes to remove people from that. It's sharp rebar, plus uh, one of the walls is still unstable. Uh, they did some excellent work under some harrowing conditions. Crews even had to contend with external elements, working with Tweed airport officials. We had a helicopter flying over the scene, uh, and we are very concerned that that may have shifted things in that building, uh, so they were able to get that helicopter out of here in, in, a, in a quick amount of time. There will be a significant investigation, as with any uh, construction uh, situation like this. The city immediately issuing developers Stanford based RMS companies a stop work order. The owners of neighboring Pierpont City Crossing on Church Street South told Fox 61 it had no comment when reached by telephone Friday. And OSHA and New Haven police are on scene here investigating. Based on the latest reports that we have from Yale New Haven Health, eight people are being treated. One person's condition has been upgraded to serious. Now, right now, crews are still doing a second search. They are using dogs to make sure that no one else is still trapped inside. That's the latest here in New Haven. I'm Samaya Hernandez, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.